Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print on demand journey. Today I would like to talk to you about Amazon Seller Central and the possibility of sending or selling print on demand products through Seller Central. So it's not Amazon Merch I'm talking about, it's Amazon Seller Central. So I don't know if you know that you can actually sell um, sort of, you know, print on demand products through Seller Central. Um, as you probably know, there's Amazon Merge, where you just upload your design to Amazon and Amazon then does everything else. So they do the fulfillment and everything else. So you don't need to worry about anything. But obviously the sort of disadvantage with that is that if you're just starting, it takes you a while until you can upload a significant number of designs in order to make money because you all start in tier 10 and then you need to fulfill the requirements to get to tier 25. And I think the next one is tier 100 and then tier 500, and it takes a while to um, get to this next tier. And I think, you know, you, you want to be tier 500 or tier 1000 in order to make at least some decent money from it, because before that, it's really only small numbers of sh shirts or designs you can actually sell. So the other way, or an additional way you can explore is to sell your print-on-demand products on Amazon Seller Central, which is just, just the normal seller central marketplace of amazon where people sell physical products so on amazon merch you obviously only upload your design so it's pretty much for you it's a digital product but when you sell on amazon like the marketplace well you can you can sell private label products and this is exactly what you're doing here so you have to create a seller central account which you can do on sellercentral.amazon. And then, you know, whatever marketplace it is you're, you're working on or you want to register on. So it could be amazon.com or amazon.co.uk or, you know, any other, you know, major marketplace. And then you have to create your seller account here. And in order to make that work, you have to pay a monthly fee to, to Amazon, which is the professional fee, because um, otherwise it, it will not work. I think in the UK, it currently costs £25 per month. So you need to be able to sell as you know at least products and at least make a 25 pound per month profit in order to for, for it to make sense now the way you do this is obviously you, you register on amazon and then you create a printful account um and on printful you create your store so basically you have to you have to connect your printful account to the amazon seller account that you have and um, what you then have to do is you have to apply for, it's called a GTIN exemption. So that means that if you sell a private label product, which doesn't have a barcode, because every product listed on Amazon, like when you do FBA and send products to Amazon to be shipped by Amazon to the customer, then, it, well, this is called um, fulfilled by Amazon and every product requires a barcode. And also if you sell like third party products that have been manufactured by someone else, then they usually have a barcode. But if your products, because they are, you know, they are bespoke designs and you you have designed this product and you just get it printed on a shirt, for example, then this wouldn't, this won't have a barcode. So you need to apply for this GTIN exemption, which is possible. And you do this through Printful. Um, so there is a form that you have to fill out and then you have to print it, sign it and send it to Amazon. And I've currently, um, I'm currently in the process of doing that. Um, it, because so there is this form you have to fill it out you have to put your detail in your, the, your brand name the company name and then you have to go to Amazon and um, try to upload this form for them to approve it but some people seem to have problems in this process and I had the same problem so what Amazon um, now want to see they did not le let me upload this form um, and I received a, it's called a 5665 error and I contacted seller support and they say they want to see my actual brand um, a name or company name. Yeah, actually the brand name under which I'm selling these products on physical products. So I just ordered um, products from Printful with my, uh, well, my brand logo. I created a brand logo for this and the brand name. And I put this on the shirts and I've ordered these now. And when, as soon as I have them receive them, then I will send these photos that Amazon requested to Amazon and hopefully then they will approve my brand. So this is what they do. They have to approve your brand. And as soon as that is done, I can submit this G, hopefully submit this GTIN exemption. And only as soon as I've done that, I can create listings in Printful and then push these over to Amazon. Um, so they appear on the marketplace. 
So obviously the advantage of the um, Amazon Seller Central um, sales channel is, you know, it's a huge marketplace. And the advantage is that you're not really limited in terms of how many listings you can create per day. And also Amazon don't charge you per listing. They only charge you when you've made a sale. Um, so, and that's good. And what you need to know if you pay the professional fee for 30, I think 25 pounds per month in the UK, uh, I think the, um, what, whatever you pay as a share of your profits to Amazon, that's reduced as well. So I think it's around if you make 10 sales or so per month, then I think the, third, the 25 pounds have paid for themselves or so. Like I can't remember exactly what it is, but and that's pretty much the process. So I hope I can I'll receive these print food products in the next few days and I'll let you know as soon as, as I've received them and submitted the photos that Amazon requested to Amazon. Um, and then hopefully my brand will be approved because what Amazon want to see is that you actually sell these physical products and that you actually have an own brand and that your brand name is on the products when you sell them to customers now. And, um, well, this is pretty much how other YouTube uh, channels have suggested it. Everybody, you know, in a bit of a different way. And I've just decided I order the products from Printful directly and, um, yeah, basically get them this way and can take the photos and submit this to seller central support so i'll keep you updated i just thought it would be a good way to um, register here and to give it a go and give it a try because as you know i want to scale this business and i believe the more sales channels you operate in or on um, the more chances you have to sell and i want to scale this quickly i want to find out what's working what's not working and um, yeah i think amazon is, is a good opportunity so I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to stay updated and learn more about my own print on demand journey, then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye.